I have before me here Triumph Obinusi, 10 year old. He had pains in the eyes since four months ago and started hab having excessive tearing that we call Epiphora. He had impaired vision. He's here to give his testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Our God is great and good. Ashwale is my son. He complained of this problem about four months ago after he came back from the school. And we visited our community pharmacist, whom I believe should be in this uh, gathering now. He's a member of the church. He gave us some medication, which he took. And there was a kind of a big relief, though he told us after two weeks, we should report back. But we didn't report. Thereafter, I was rejoicing. All of a sudden, he came back one day with heaviness, complaining of pain in the eyes. And it's as if somebody beat him, especially the left side. Pain and tears gushing out. And uh, I said, with all those things that you have taken, though we have not reported, but let's believe God, we will go. About three Mondays ago, we didn't take any step. We believe God, praying. He came back. Actually, the exam was about to run up. After Bible study, Monday, our community pharmacy was in the church that day as well. We greeted, we left. When we got back home, he complained. I said, why did you think talk when we were in the church? We would have reported to him and uh, that this is what happened. I can't go back to his office this night. Tomorrow you will go there. But one way or the other, I couldn't take any step. As we were seated far back at the end over there, he was complaining yesterday that the reflection, because too much of light affects the eye. He said the reflection of the screen affecting him that is disturbing his eye, he cannot see well. And that day that he came back, he said because he was far from the back, he couldn't see what was written on the board. I think I met the teacher at a time and told him that please let him be sitting close or at the front so that he can see well. I went to urinate yesterday as the miracle prayer was going on. Only to come back, I didn't see him. Where is this board? So later it came that he went out to give testimony. I said, share the testimony with me. He said, as the man of God was praying, he lay his hand as instructed that after the prayer, he decided to take the comfort uh, letter that was given to him because it signified for uh, utter call for salvation to read. He said, as he did, that he has seen something just fly and jump out of the eyes down as he was able clearly to see the tear that was coming out everything since and since that yesterday till now and i believe god forever it is done and god has settled us praise the lord god has done it he will do your own too Let's listen to this testimony. Praise the Lord. I have beside me Sister Precious Chica, 17 year old. She has been suffering from peptic ulcer for the past four years. She hardly could stay without food for more than an hour. For yesterday, she got her miracle. Praise the Lord. My name is Precious Chica. I'm here to testify what God has done in my life yesterday after the prayer of the man of God, having, having us for four years. Yesterday when I came here, I was having those pains. Then I sat down there. But after the prayer of the man of God, I felt that the pain, I couldn't feel the pain again. And the pain, everything is gone. Today, I decided to check if the pain is still there. And for some hours, I've not eaten anything and I did not feel any pain. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is walking. The next testifier.
praise the Lord. After this, we'll take some online. I have here brother Ogunshe here, Oluwashim, 26 year old. He gave his life to the Lord Jesus Christ yesterday. And he also got healed of severe neck pain and neck stiffness of three months. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. By the grace of God, my name is Sogun Sheoluwashon. I'm from the Palai Bible Church, English District, Owodi Egbagun State, Nigeria. Yesterday, I came here as a sinner, but I left home as a believer. Praise the Lord. And secondly, I used to lift weights. One day, in the course of lifting the weights, the weight dropped on my neck. And since then, I was having stiff neck. I could not turn this neck like this. But I want to bless the name of the Lord because last night God touched my neck. And now I can touch this neck. Praise the Lord. I pray that may God's anointing continue to rest upon you, sir. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. God will touch you too tonight. Let's take some from testimony from social media. We have testimonies coming from the social media. And uh, great things are still happening. Just yesterday, COVID 19 once again bowed to prayer. Sister Charity Kuma and her husband, Moses Kuma, they wrote that they had COVID 19. But after the prayer of the man of God, they found out that the COVID-19 had disappeared. They went for a test and confirmed it. We got the confirmation from Pastor John Hill of the United States, and we will bring you a follow-up on this particular testimony. God is still doing great things. We now take you back to Imo State for another testimony. Imo, South East Nigeria. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I am Brother Christopher Ekiwe. By the grace of God, I am born again. I am from Amako Hatu District in uh, Amako Hatu, the royal region, Ibo State. I'm standing here to testify of the goodness of the Lord, what the Lord did to me during the GS message at uh, Port Harcourt and New York to so that I have two uh, uh, testimonies from these two uh, worldwide crusade of our general superintendent. The first one is I have been having problems with my legs for up to 10 years and I've been on painkillers and painkillers are very dangerous to the organs. So because of that, I kept monitoring my organs from time to time. I we go to uh, to the lab, check for kidney function test, uh, liver function test, and carry out abdominal scan. But when I checked it in October, I discovered that they told me I had fluid in my accumulated in my right kidney, and on my left kidney was swollen. I had what they call the pyelonephritis on the left. So they advised me to meet a, a nephrologist who is a specialist in kidney management. I felt that since the crusade is at hand, why not I take it to God in prayer instead of going to look for a nephrologist? So I decided not to go to a nephrologist, kept on praying. During the crusade in Port Harcourt, just prayed. And then, after one week, I went back for scan and discovered that the fluid that was on the right kidney had been cleared. I thank God. I told God, you haven't healed somebody. You can't heal somebody halfway. No blind man was healed. He saw with only one eye, and the other one remained closed. No lame man was healed, and one leg was okay. The other one was not okay. So the healing should be total, both on the left kidney. I prayed against, I'm not going to meet anybody. I'm going to wait on the Lord for your program. During the your program, I presented it to the Lord. In fact, I even went to the brother who was in charge of electronics and asked him, 
how much will it take for me to fuel the generator for the five days? He told me, I gave him the money. I told God I've planted a seed. I must be completely healed on both kidneys. Then after that, uh, after the GS message that uh, he prayed, after praying in that to your program, I went back for scan. The whole two kidneys were functioning. I asked the, the, the scenographer who was really saying, look at the last result. She looked at the last result, checked me again, and said, Daddy, I didn't see anything. The two kidneys are okay inside and everything, so they, are, they have no problem. So I said, may the Lord who has done this, may his name be glorified in Jesus' name. And then, even our Father, whom the Lord used, may he strengthen him the more, give him longer years, give him more anointing, so that more people will be delivered from the hand of the enemy in Jesus' name. Thank you.